Hello and welcome to Web 2.0 Foundation Spring 2013. My name is Mr. Steele Maley. I will be uh, your guide, uh, facilitator, and teacher for this term. And I wanted to go over a few very important things uh, for completing this course um, effectively. The first, uh, and this week, we're going to get oriented to online systems that we'll be using for the entire course. Um, those systems uh, represent one half of this course roughly. So the course happens online and it also happens um, in the Mac lab. And so outside meetings are going to be almost as important as um, the inside meetings. And so understanding how these systems work will be very, very beneficial to you. The site that you're seeing right now um, is going to be our main um, site for information, uh, for you turning in uh, links to assignments. Um, getting information on the different aspects of the course and then communicating with me and your peers um, uh, throughout the course. And so, um, when you uh, look at this site, uh, you need to know how to get here. If you start at the Wiscasset High School homepage, you'll notice that down at the very lower left-hand corner there's a link for the iLab. If you click that link, you're going to notice that you come to a site that looks like this. Uh, you can get to the Web 2.0 Foundation's um, information here, or you can go to the Canvas tag. Remember, we were just at Canvas, which is going to be your learning management system for the, uh, for the term. So Canvas has information for students. You can click on that and get piece-by-piece uh, -piece information about how to use Canvas at any time. And then you can click on the link down here, which is Web 2.0 Foundation's and you'll notice that you get back to the same course page where we, where we just were. Um, something that's important for you to know is that everything within the course okay, um, is public. We're not logged in right now. All right? You can still see everything that you need uh, to see. So can your parents, so can uh, uh, the school and other teachers. Um, but for this course, there are many things that you're going to need to be um, signed up for the course to do. And so what we need uh, to do is, is quite easy. Um, there's a little tab right here that says join this course. Go ahead and click that join this course tab and it's going to ask you for your email address. You're going to put your name at svrsu.org. Okay, that's your now first class email address. Um, uh, and it will soon be your Google Apps address and more on that later. Um, and then you're going to click I am a new user here. It's going to ask you for your full name, your date of birth, and that you agree to the terms of use. And then you're going to enroll in the course, and you're there. So again, place your email, um, say that you're a new user, put your full name into this bar here, and then put your birth date as it asks in the drop down here. Okay. Click you agree, and then enroll in the course. Once you do that, you'll always be able to get back to this site. I um, advocate, or I, I suggest that you go ahead and bookmark the site, like I've done on on my uh, toolbar here. I'm using Firefox. You can do the same on Chrome, of course. Um, when you log in to the site, you're going to come to a page that looks very much like this. You're going to put in your email address, all right, password, and you're going to log in. When you get to the, the dashboard, yours will look a little different than mine, but you'll have a bunch of courses, or one course most likely. You may have other courses, classes at, at WHS that are using Canvas, um, and you're going to go down to your course, Web 2.0 Foundation, Spring 2013. When you do that, you're going to notice a couple more things uh, on the sidebar, like discussions and people. Um, those are going to be important facets, uh, especially for this week. So how I uh, advocate you actually tackling this, uh, uh, the course in the first part of the week, is that uh, I need you to read through everything that you see. Um, all of these hyperlinks are going to be incredibly important, and we'll go over those in, in the class, but it's good for you to um, click around on those as well. There are a couple of images, an important video. You'll see that video again soon. Um, and then just a welcome message about the course in general so you know what you're getting into, the texts that are required, 
how the approach of the course is, and then a little more on the Canvas um, uh, uh, LMS and uh, philosophy of teaching um, and the learning, which is important for you as well. And then when you click on syllabus over here, you're going to notice that this is an embedded Google Doc. This has uh, got your entire course in it. It's going to be uh, something you're going to want to familiarize yourself with this week. And then for all of you, um, you're going to be interested in what you're going to need to do, how the breakups uh, and percentages of the course work. Uh, that's all within that lower document. And then below that, you, you have a profile of what is due in the near future. Okay, So that's, again, on the syllabus page, an important place to be. And then modules, you'll notice I just clicked here. These are always here for you to navigate through. On the modules section, um, you'll notice that uh, there is a large first module, research. The essential course research documents we're going to be going over um, and using all term. So not a bad idea to take a look at these. You may not need to read all of these um, fully. Uh, the blogging or writing guidelines, for instance, are going to be quite um, used in, in week two and three, and that's a lot of reading to do, but um, it will benefit you uh, to read as soon as you can. Modules are in weeks, week one, week two, etc. And uh, in those weeks, you're always going to want to look at the overview for that week. That's going to give you the trajectory of what we're going to do in the week and uh, and how it's going to work in general. You'll notice that they'll always be there for each week. So if we click on week one, you'll notice uh, that we have a weekly topic with an overview. We'll talk about what I want you to do, what you should be concerned with, uh, and then tasks. All right. So in the tasks, You'll, you'll be asked to do something. Watch media to get you thinking for this week, uh, and then post to the introductions uh, discussion by Wednesday. So click on the introductions discussion, for instance. And this is going to be a discussion forum with very specific guidelines. Make sure you always read the directions fully. Look at the hyperlinks that you may see. Every blue piece there, of course, is a hyperlink. I don't need to tell you guys that. But each of them is important, just like when you're reading anything online. You want to make sure that you know what's behind those links, because they tell you things like my expectations and what good writing looks like and the different things that you're going to be doing for the course. Okay, So uh, again, I was on modules, got a large research module, and a week one module. This is what you're really going to be looking for. You can either enter these as the week modules like this and then go to the bottom and just hit the next in sequence until you get through. Okay, Some expectations there. The approach again. And then the discussion forum. And then you look down here and you say, oh, the next module is actually week two. And it'll take you to the weekly topic and introductions. Okay. So that would be for week two. Um, and then you can always click back to the home page, and there you are. So that's, for the most part, uh, the gist of week one. You're going to have an introductions discussion. And uh, you want to make sure that you're looking to the modules. Always going to the overviews. reading carefully what's expected of you, um, and then uh, asking copious amounts of questions. So um, how do you um, ask questions at first? Okay, You're going to hear from me about many different uh, ways of getting in touch with me, uh, but right now if you click this you'll get uh, right to my first class email, and that is a good place to start. So. Look forward to seeing you all in class and um, having a wonderful term.